So hello. Now today I want to take a look at another partially built model of mine. It's the BB35 USS Texas in 1350 scale from Trumpeter. And it's a pretty cool ship. And I'm going to show you what's in the box. I haven't I've started it, but it's not all that far really. Pretty much the the main deck is finished, except for the a lot of the smaller details. I'm working on the superstructure, but I wanted to show this a little bit. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And ring that bell to get notifications on my new videos. So here we have the box art for the uh, USS Texas. It's a huge box. nice box art too. And here on the side you see there's a diagram of the painting with the with the aircraft that goes with it. Now I got pretty far on this already but there's still a lot to do. But I'm having problems with, uh, with all this photo itch. Let me see. There's quite a bit of photo itch that comes with it. And it's these railings where I'm having problems. And it's because my hands keep shaking really bad and I'm having problems lining it up and getting it glued. There's like three big trees of photo itch. It's really cool. It's all the railings and stuff. There's also a color diagram that comes with most of these. Um, a lot of these kits these days have stuff like this. This is from Trumpeter and Trumper, Trumpeter in Hobby Boss. And a pretty large instruction sheet as well. You can see here, can't show it all at one time because it's so big. How many trees there are. Some of the, some of these parts come separately like this. And then there's like like five big big trees uh, almost as long as this box of plastic of gray plastic plus you get this, uh, this is a, a base for it, an aircraft in clear plastic, and then the, the three sheets of, you know, here, the three sheets of photo etch, and decals, and decals aren't that much, it's just uh, some symbols for the aircraft and numbers and stuff like that. Four sheets of photo itch, sorry. The four sheets of photo itch, because there's still one here in the bag. And a chain for the anchor. In the instructions, you know, you put the whole halves together, and there's these uh, bulkheads that go inside, which is pretty cool because it keeps it keeps it stable. And then the hole in the the, the deck goes together pretty fast.
Then you got here the the uh, the screws and and parts for the underneath. But I usually wait till the last uh, till the end to do that because they get broken off too easily when you're working on the top. Then already here you were starting on the on on the superstructure, which is a lot of it, and it's, and it's nice looking. I'm not going to focus too much on instructions as I'm this far. I'm putting railings on here. See, there's railings that go all along the outside as well. All foot of which it goes all along the outside. And a lot of superstructure parts, cranes, and everything. It's a pretty big kit. The moldings are very good too. All the parts are nice, nicely molded. And some, some really small parts. A lot of these trees are just repeats, like here. Repeat. These are all repeat, all, all the same for the guns, for the main guns. Here's two aircraft. They're pretty good size. And the wingspan's about not two inches or so. And there's a lot of parts, a whole lot of parts. I'm not even sure what exactly the part count is. It probably says here on the box. 840 it says 840 plus parts or pieces which is probably counting the photo etch as well so you can see there's a lot of small parts here 840 parts that's, that's a big part count this is probably one of the most complicated models I've done and the plastic's not a problem. I can glue plastic on all day. But photo etch is a different thing. Photo etch I have a little problems with. I have my measures here that I made a small plans for the different measures. One is for the Arizona, Missouri, and the Texas. I did the Arizona in measure 1, and the Missouri in measure 22, I think, in Tokyo Bay. And Texas is going to be in measure 22 as well in the later war. And pretty much like this. I always have a couple references that I print up and help me uh, get the painting right. And see what I've got here so far. Here's the base. It's about half as long as the box with my arm. It's a pretty big base. It's a really big ship. Even though if you look at this, If we take a look at the uh, USS Texas in 1350 scale and compare it to the USS Air, uh, Missouri in 1700 scale, um, yeah, neither one of them fit into the camera. But the Missouri in, is, is, is like twice as big. So I can't imagine how big the Missouri would be in 1350 scale, but it would be pretty big.
No, I bought the one three the USS Texas one three fifty one three fifty scale because it is a smaller battleship, an older battleship, and I'm from Texas, so it kind of makes sense to have my state battleship in a bigger scale. The planking isn't that obvious when you look at it. I already have the uh, the deck blue wash on it even though it's a really dusty deck blue wash now because it's been sitting on the shelf for a couple of years until I get around to do it again. Now I did get some of the... I started putting the PE on. You can see some railing here. But it was here on the top when I, I quit. That's also a photo etch. The radar dish on the top there. You have the st all the stairs. There's the uh, stairs on the back and everything. It's really detailed. It looks good, I think. So I could just get going at it again. But it's a really good model. And there is actually, there is a little, there is a little bit of planking, like here, you can see some planks. There is in places, it looks like just in a few places, well it looks like there's a little planking in some places, like here. There's a line, but it's not over, it's not everywhere like that. Actually, it is. The dust is covering it. So it does have planking, but the, the the separation between the planks is so light, they're really hard to see. I totally forgot. It's been so long since I looked at this. I would really like to finish it, along with a lot of other models that I have. But it's just a total lack of time. And my right hand, which I use all the time, shakes a lot so it's pretty difficult but it's a good model it's a good ship trumpeter makes some good stuff i really like trumpeter and uh i would recommend this kit for anybody that likes model ships or you know Battleship type model ships, <laughs> warships. This is a one of the battleships from World War II that's still in one piece. Let's see. I'm not sure. Last time I looked, it was in Shins, I think San Jacinto. Um, as a museum ship, but it's a nice model, and can't wait to get started with it again. But it'll be next year if I do. So next time we'll be taking a look at this uh, the Black Pearl from Ravel. It's in 1150 scale, and it's a it's an easy click system kit because I can't afford the other kit, which is 130 euros. This was 20. I wish I could get the better kit, but uh, it's out of my budget. But this one should still turn out pretty good. I'll do as much extra as I can to uh, to make it look passable. Thanks for watching.